All right, Mark, so what's this building? This is the tank building is what they call it here at the Packard Proving Grounds. And it was leased to Chrysler during the war because they would test tanks out here at the Proving Grounds. And that's what they said that crane was, I think somebody said. Right, there, right, right. to go move them. And also this was a wooden building because they had a lot of wood, but they didn't have the steel because the steel was going into tanks. Wow, so they got some Packards, kind of like their little museum here. So this is a 47 mm -hmm. Packard. Look at the size and how high it is. Oh, it's, that would, you know, won't fit in my garage. I, yeah, I don't I know. I think it might be real close. All right, what we got over here? This one is a uh, 40. 40. And Packard. I love the way it's got the dual side mounted spares. Yep. And encased in there, so they just didn't get, you know. It dirtier. almost looks like it's part of, more part of the body than mm -hmm. the other. Of course, a great hood ornament on there. And we got a another 40. 40, Packard. yep. And that's a 120. So I think that was the smaller, more economy. It looked very close. But it doesn't have that tire element. No. Spare tire element. No, it must be back in the trunk. All right. So back in time with the 38. Yeah. Wow. 1607 series. And it's a big difference. It isn't, it is that more mid 30s design. It is, it is. It and looks, so. Uh, you know, it just looks. <laughs> I don't know. I keep wanting to say, do you have any gray poupon? I'm going to see these. Even there, though there's something right. about these Packards that is substantial and classy. Yep. They're smooth. That straight eight is so smooth. And you, it is that Rolls Royce type thing. I know the Rolls people were on me on it, but yeah. it was still made in an assembly line, but still, this is just oh my amazing. Look at that. And I, again, I, I keep saying this every time I see a car, people are trying, that line that goes up the fender, kind of like a Delahaye and some others yes. have. I like that feature. Now, that was not as sharp as most, but still not continued. Yeah, it's continued in the rear. I think it starts at the top. And uh, the size of this car for two people. Yeah. And it is, but it's it is kind of car. narrow, but it's big. Uh, this let's sneak around the pole here. Yeah. Is a 25. And often they give rides for this. I rode in this oh, back really? in October. And then at last year's show, but today they're doing rides in a 56. Um, beautiful car. It is. Um, oh, not synchronized transmission, but it's got the eight. That great ornament on the top there. And wow. it's a big difference. Like I've ridden in a lot of like Model T's. And right, right, right. This is right. very comfortable. A lot comfortable. better feeling than a Model T. Yeah. A little more luxury. Now look at this hood ornament. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully I don't get blocked showing something like that. Oh, and I don't know if you can see the in the back there. It's a dual cowl phaeton. Yep, yep. Got glass in the back. Right, and so once you're in there, that metal thing slides down so you're covered and warm yeah. and separate back amazing. there. These are some amazing cars. Yeah, hopefully we can get a ride in Peters. Yes. Packard, that would be... Fantastic. So 31. What's this one here? I don't know on this one. Uh, but look at this in the back. And that hood ornament. Look down. Just look at that shot down the side here, folks. And this has where this roof can come off so the chauffeur can be in the open. And they have the separate glass, but you can see there's some latches and that comes up. So it's this a target comes top. Off. This part <laughs> yeah. comes off. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is... And, of course, we, we haven't shown this alpha in the room, I'll call it, right here. Yeah. I mean, Packard had the cars, but they also did green engines, and they did the engines for the um, P-51 Mustang. So this is so built in 32, 38-foot-long, 10-inch beam. Powered right. by four supercharged V12 Packard engines, 8,000 horsepower. And Garwood was known for these speedboats. Wow. And he was there. based Can in Elginac. Look at it? Yeah. And so these are the Garwood speedboats. They used to race them on the Detroit River. It was a wow. big thing. And this, 
Do you is, that? I mean, each engine has a lot. Yeah. Look at all those gauges you got to pay attention to. I just can't imagine being behind the wheel of this and doing like 60 out on the river. That is crazy. Look at that. It's more. These, just, it just, it's just hard to like take it all in. You know, this has to make a hell of a sound, right? Yeah. When it's running. Yeah, so this one, yeah, I think it says here 124 miles an hour. Yeah, and it, it must have to be able to climb in inside there to work on that, I would imagine. Wow. That is that's it. So it's an it's an inter interesting part of Packard history that it isn't just the cars; they also did marine engines, B two boat aircraft. engines, mm -hmm. right? Okay. There's some other engines on display over here. So the marine engines. I mean, yeah. this looks like your basic Packard, Packard yeah. straight A. Yeah, that looks almost like what's in Peter's car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that we saw Packard Marine. Packard Marine. So there must be variations on that straight eight, straight six. And then here's where they kind of changed the V8 there. Which that's a Studebaker Packard. Yeah. Well, that's so that's later on when they merged. Yeah. Interesting. Very and interesting. look now. at the size of this thing. Packard PT PT boat engine. And I think they had, what, three of them in the PT boats. Yeah. And the PT boats were all made out of basically plywood. They were all right. wood and had these massive engines in them for just speed. And that's speed. what my dad's job was in Vietnam on the river patrol boat he served on was he was in charge of the engines. Yeah. These were... There's there's what one would like. Right. Right. So they were to go as close as they could to the Japanese ships and shoot off torpedoes yeah. and hopefully not be seen and they were fast. And there's another one. Wow. That is just crazy. That is crazy. Now we, we we can't we can't miss this this almost grabber blue car. I know it's not you and the but, grabber blue. But this is really pretty it this, is and a lot it, it's interesting these the details around the headlights. Yeah, I think those are some of the best looking headlights like that. You know, um, Batmobile? Yeah. Kind of, right? Yeah. That Lincoln, what was that? It's a Futura, right? That they made. The yeah, and it has the Dagmars, but everything is classy. Is. And the hood ornament. Wow. This is really a pretty car. It's just comfort. Now, it's not the same as the comfort of. Some of these earlier ones, it was a 50s comfort, but it's still, still yeah. This is a car That's that a you can go in point. and drive across the country in comfort and style. 56. Yeah, that, that is what's doing everything. Packard Executive. That's towards the end of Packard, really, yeah. sadly. All right. So. No. Why don't we uh, go check some more out? I think yes. we got to choose a car that we can yes. take home. So, and that's going to be hard today. Let's do that. Okay. Right.